Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Live Scribbles with Jonathan. You can check out my website and my work at jonathanrector.com. And if you guys are on Twitter, Facebook, all that cool stuff, visit my website. And on the right hand side, there's a navigation bar that you can click on there and you can find me all over the place, even on DeviantArt and all those other little silly places. Um, there's no new updates to my website this week. Uh, I do usually start these live streams by giving you guys a bunch of promises that never happen, <laughs> but I uh, have plans. Actually, let me get this going, uh, what we'll be working on today while I'm talking. But uh, if you guys were here for the last stream or even watched on YouTube my previous video, uh, Spectacular Red, um, I have a new project that I'm working on uh, called Spectacular Z. And in uh, this episode, what we're going to work on is uh, Spectacular Blue, one of five characters that are actually in the book. And they're all based on colors and all that fun stuff. But um, I'll be posting an article, uh, hopefully right after this stream actually, I'm going to uh, get my notes all rounded up so that we can get that article started just to um, share with you guys a little bit more information about what the project is and, and some of the thoughts and the motives behind going around that. Um, but this show is for you guys and girls, so if you're in the chat, by all means, please leave a question. Uh, just put it in all capitals. That way, uh, as we start rambling, as this hour goes by, I can quickly see it and go back and answer it. And if you're watching uh, the pre-recorded version of this and you were unable to make it to tonight, uh, that's okay. Feel free to leave questions in the description box below. And what I'm going to start doing is before these streams every Wednesday... I should have said that too as well, that uh, this show is every Wednesday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What I will do is go to the previous week's comments, take a look at what the questions are there, and then I'll try to address them in this show uh, when it's a little quiet. Um, sometimes everybody likes to get in there and go into the chat <laughs> and start talking about all the fun stuff. Um, but every now and then, some of you guys and girls out there got some questions. Um, so yeah, other than that, there's not much new going on. Um, there should be actually another article, even though I just said false promises. I want to have two articles going up there. One's actually talking about a standing desk setup that I have going on right now. If you guys are following me on Facebook, I posted a picture of it. I call it a pretty do-it-yourself ghetto setup, um, just for some cliff notes if you guys haven't seen it. On my desk, I literally just put a nightstand on top of it, and my Cintiq just falls right on top of that. And uh, I'm not the tallest guy in the world, and this is actually awesome. All I need to do now is get something set up so I can bring my mouse and my keyboard up, and, and, we're, and we're laughing. But uh, there's some health benefits and stuff. I wanted to include some articles in that as well, but that's all non-drawing stuff. So let's say we get into some drawing. Um, I wanted to open up first here as well, uh, just Spectacular Red, the first character that we designed. Um, I was actually thinking over the last few days, obviously ethnicity and race and all that stuff doesn't necessarily matter, um, but I would like to keep it very Power Ranger-esque and change some of the designs here with some of the races of these characters and stuff like that. Just to, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say keep it fresh, but give it some something else. And usually main characters and stuff, they're usually white dudes and stuff. Um, I'm a big Spawn fan. I like black guys as main characters. I don't know why. Um, anybody that's played uh, God of War, even though I know he's a white guy, that black dude's voice, it's awesome stuff. There's something just a little bit better. Not, I don't, I, don't, I shouldn't say better. Something more interesting when characters are like that. So what I wanted to do is make the main character a, uh, a black guy. Um, so in doing that, we got to be careful. You know, we don't want to start throwing race cards around and all that. <laughs> all that stuff. Let me just make sure my brush is right here. And I needed to actually change a couple things on this design. We did have, uh, we worked on a colored version a couple streams ago, or at least in another video. Um, I just wanted to actually change this shape that he's got here. He's no longer going to be the diamond character. Uh, he's going to be a more just triangle. Uh, plays better with his actual mask. Um, now the lips, this is where I'm talking about uh, since he's a black character. Usually black cat's got a little bit thicker lips. Um, but I just don't want to give him like monsters. Uh, so I'm going to be tasteful about this here. Like even that, just that subtle upper lip. 
Uh, that would probably sell it. Uh, like I say, it w it's not a huge overhaul here of uh, art requirement here. Um, but it's just something more myself so that I remember when I go back to uh, draw these characters some more and all that cool stuff. Um, so I don't think I'm going to color it with you guys here. Uh, but since I have Manga Studio open, I just wanted to have this as well just so I can visually see this here. See how that looks. That's ah, not bad. Okay. So let's save this up and then we'll get started on Spectacular Blue. Spectacular Blue, I'm really getting into that character. Uh, there, there's nothing too fancy about him. Uh, all these characters, if you guys are, uh, for those of you that have no idea what this project's really about, um, that may have missed like uh, the last episode or anything like that, uh, it's going to be a webcomic, at least to start. And I'm playing heavily on. TV shows that I loved growing up, especially Power Rangers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Those two um, are pretty much setting the standard for this book. Uh, so they all have that similar costume to them. Spectacular Blue here, he's a little bit of a chubbier guy, um, but there's something about him that's just making him very interesting to me, and I, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, it's not that he's got a, you know, a cute little belly or anything like that, um, but Something's added to him that uh, I don't know. I'm not quite like I can't really put it in words. Uh, what it is about him that uh, I find really interesting. Uh, Trying to get his belly going here. Uh, anybody that's played Street Fighter, uh, the newest one, Street Fighter Four. There's a character named Rufus in there, and he's a big guy with a big bouncy belly. And I wanted to have this kind of be the inspiration for that. Uh, I'm still working on characterization for these guys. Right now, it's just design. Um, usually, bigger people like this, they tend to be a little bit more um, jovial. They're joking, you know. They've they've got good senses of humor and stuff like that. And they're like the Michelangelos of the group. They're there for comic relief. Uh, and and I'm not sure if it's just because big, round, soft shapes are just fun. <laughs> uh, you know, jumping in a a, a giant thing of balls. Toy balls, anyway. <laughs> it's usually pretty fun. Um, I can't really think of too many villains that are just a round ball. Usually they're like more sharp sharp shapes. Um, now, now, in saying that, I don't know if I just want to play the safe route and go, okay, well, that's what the character is. I, I think I want to kind of turn it on its head. I'm not quite sure what this, what this will mean just yet, but uh, for now, anyway, I'm going to stick with that. I'm just trying to do the pencils here, just tighten up some of this here because it is still a little loose. Um, I'm not quite sure if I want to have the ring going that way as well. Let's just zoom out here, see what we're looking at. That's not bad. Well, well, the other characters, <sighs> character design on the fly. Maybe we can just bring it out the side. All right, so let's find the perspective here. Flip it around. Okay. Give me one second here. I just want to turn my cell phone off here. I don't want to have you guys listen to it. All right, let's mute this stuff. I needed to actually when I did these were done with traditional pencils on paper and I had just scanned them in um, his actual underwear 
armor thing was actually giving me a little bit of trouble. Uh, I didn't include it in the scan, but underneath there's a whole bunch of um, tests that I did for myself just to try to figure out the perspective. Um, the red character that I've already designed, he pretty much set the standard on the rest of the designs for the characters. Um, but the shape that it's actually in is it's a little bit more complicated than I want to say that I'm used to drawing. Um, and here we got him on a bigger character. So what digital is going to let me do that I couldn't do with pencil uh, without a lot of work is work in a different vibe, we'll say. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to make a brand new layer, draw it small, and then just transform it. Or I might even actually just cheese it, or cheat it, I should say. Uh, let's try that. Uh, spectacular red. Let's just find his. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge these layers down. Grab our lasso tool. Grab his underwear. Uh, edit. Copy. Close. Do not save. And then we'll just go edit. Paste. Edit. Horizontal. Here we go. It doesn't exactly have to be perfect here to him. So what I'm trying to do here is just understand this the shape I have. I still need to put some correct perspective on it. But this is actually a really tricky shape. And you can already see what's happening is it's huge, right? Like I don't want this thing to be a massive piece of underwear on him. That's not very flattering. So let's turn the opacity down on that sucker. Figure this shape out here. Whoops. So we want it coming over up here. I don't want this crotch piece to be so massive. Uh, yeah, it is. It's actually one of the quieter. Uh, Wednesdays that I've had in, in quite some time. All right, let's wrap it around his leg here. some room here for his belly. Let's just flip it around and see how it looks. Um, I don't know if I'm sold on it yet. I might just have to redesign this just for this guy. Because that looks kind of, I don't know, it feels kind of silly. Maybe. Yeah, see the problem with this is uh, it hides too much of his belly. And that's what makes him fun. So let's delete that. What we'll do is we'll just make it up. So we'll start with the other way. Why is this pen not? Start with some underwear. And I guess we'll just, I don't know, this is so tough. <laughs> I never thought armored underwear be as uh, ridiculous as this. That way 
with it. And let's tighten up the feet here, and then we can get into uh, some inking. And if we're lucky, we can get this guy colored up. All right. So I'm going to start bringing these feet in. This one. <laughs> yeah, like I don't even know where I would start looking for reference for this stuff. Uh, chastity belt for superheroes, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Mega Man, especially like the Z series stuff. Uh, Mega Man X as well. So a lot of the, I don't want to say the design, but the, the chunky sort of stuff like these boots. Um, and even that underwear, um, heavily pulled from looking at the chunky sort of robot armor that, uh, I forget the artist's name that was on that, on that game, but uh, I love that guy's stuff. It's like a simple cartoony look to it. Uh, it's, it's heavily anime manga style um, so if you don't like that stuff I could see where people wouldn't really dig it but it's uh, it's cool design it's real cool design okay so this foot here uh, let's just flip it see what it looks on the other side alright now the one thing I want to do here is he doesn't look like he's got enough pop uh, especially for that leg so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna merge that down Turn all this into one layer. <sighs> it takes a little while sometimes. <whistles> okay, now I'm just going to actually just around the knee see if we can just extend it a bit and see how it feels back. I think what the problem is, is it's this leg right here. Uh, so let's see if we can fix that. I'm going to lower the opacity, make another layer. I'm just going to start redrawing this, this leg. So let's keep it on the same plane here. Um, one of the things that I want to do with this art here is it's uh, it's just it's not just promotional art, uh, but it can be used as uh, something that I've learned uh, in video games. I I've brought up with you guys is that everything can be reused, if it can be reused anyway. And uh, the beautiful part about that is if you can think ahead a little bit you can save yourself quite a bit of time like there is something really awesome about making fresh new artwork all the time 
uh, for your characters or your projects, and I highly recommend doing that. I highly recommend, if you got the time, um, you're just going to get better at drawing your characters, uh, and most people, I mean, you're, you're, you're big diehard fans anyway, um, when they see brand new artwork of characters they like, they love it, usually. Uh, however, when you're using it for, I guess, advertising or marketing or, or anything like that, thinking of it in a different way will probably help um, expediate some of that stuff. So what I want to do with these characters is design them in a way so that they're sort of like flat on the ground like this. And the first thing I, I'll definitely be doing once all the characters are designed like this is putting them all together in like a, a group shot. And that's just by taking the image, you know, and manipulating it and moving it around so that... Uh, you can do stuff like that. And again, what's really awesome about that is I can use that for any kind of Facebook pictures. Uh, I, I would never use it for like a cover or anything, but let's say I want to put some ads on websites letting uh, people know about the webcomic and things like that. I have all these uh, assets here that I've created um, that people can just grab and put on their site if uh, they're so inclined or anything like that. You know, like if they actually like... Um, where the image is going, or where the book's going, I should say, too. And uh, actually, at my work right now, uh, not me, like I've done some art for it and stuff, but uh, we put together a, a press kit uh, for one of our games. And what's really cool, what I liked about it, about a press kit anyway, thinking of it for like a comic book, is it's basically a website that if people wanted to they could go to and it's got images it's got the story uh, like your your pitch basically if you were to send out a, a press release or a news release to people to let them know that hey there's a whole new um, X-Men book coming out here it is here's the pictures here's the cover you can get here's some uh, pictures for like links that you could include and what it does is it lets like review sites and stuff take that and use it how they would like to um, without having to dig themselves for information about it and so I want to do something like that for this um, so these assets are actually pretty cool because then I can just crop them out and put them on there so if people wanted something they could actually go in there and uh, take the images they like Oh, you are? Okay, cool. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Uh, it's going good, guys. Yep, uh, we're actually working on Spectacular Blue here. I think, uh, I think I'm about to actually just go right into the inking. I just want to make sure one last thing here. Something caught my eye out of the, or something out of the corner of my eye here. Uh, I don't, like, I don't, he can't have this giant muscle on the side, but I need to show this twist with his belly, with his belly. Um, so maybe we'll go, we'll go around that way. Now this arm, I just want to make sure it's, it's good. And uh, one of the cool things that I'm looking forward to, obviously I hope people that read this, I know every book that gets read, people aren't going to like. I've read comics that, that I don't like. I'm not expecting people to just gush over this. Uh, I'm hoping that the people that do enjoy it, do enjoy it. <laughs> and uh, what I'm interested in is seeing which character out of the five of the main characters uh, that people like the most. You know, like if you watch Power Rangers, usually most people will say the Green Rangers, their, their favorite. Uh, I think the Green Ranger's awesome, the White Ranger's cool, but the Red Ranger, for some reason, he was always the, uh, the guy. That's one of the things I'm interested in. It's the same thing with Ninja Turtles. I always, you know, Raphael, Michelangelo are usually pretty, pretty high up there. Donatello seems like not as many people like him. Uh, more of a Leonardo guy. And those guys, like the leaders, like they're usually the most boring, right? <laughs> okay, so we got it saved. We're good to go. Let's get some inks on this. Um, one thing that's really cool. Uh, let me just make a folder for my uh, pencils is once okay the inks I just want to make sure I spent, spelled that right uh, the inks are one thing but uh, 
once you slap color on something like this, it just makes it pop. Like when I did the spectacular red, uh, it's just, I don't know. He was cool. like, I liked the line art. There's a big test with that stuff. But, um, once I got in there and actually started putting color on him, it was just like, all right, that character's starting to come to life here. Uh, so I might be able to just ink right on top of these pencils. Let me just see how fine we got our line. Now, one thing I did talk about in the last episode as well is I'm trying to get like thick outlines and everything, but I don't want to go too thick. You know what I mean? I don't want to go too, uh, too cartoony with it, even though you look at these characters and... Uh, whoop. These characters don't lend themselves... Uh, I talked about this when I did Guildborn as well. Uh, when I was doing the designs for that, you guys that had followed me, maybe seen it, uh, is that the characters themselves don't really lend themselves to like high rendering and high shadows and stuff, especially when they look this cartoony. Um, so you got to be aware of that. And in saying that as well, when I design these guys, I don't want to do the outlines to be so massive that it's 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 crazy. Now this one apparently I did at 300 DPI. Didn't know that. I just want to see how the line thickness. So this is looking pretty thick. Uh, but let's see how it looks on a 600 DPI. Yeah, it's pretty thick. Usually I, ha I do have a set standard size that I use. Uh, maybe we'll go to 1.7 again. What I'm doing here is I'm just doing contours around these lines just to see what what my pressure was like at the time I was drawing these. Alright, we'll try that. That's great to hear, a mask. I'm glad to hear that. Um, just to use that old adage, right? Like, the more you practice, the better you'll get, for sure. And I'm just glad that you came back and uh, you let me know. Okay, so this contour method of drawing here is... Uh, talked about this before as well. But what you're doing is you're just drawing the outline of objects. It's like that was way too thick of a line. Um, you just draw on the outline of the object so that the silhouette, I guess, if I was to fill this whole character black, he should be able to stand out on his own. Uh, but we're doing comic books, so these characters need to have detail. But as long as this shape still works, I can go in there. So you see how the hand's empty there? Once we go in there and start doing the inking, I don't have to go as heavy with the line, right? I can just kind of do this. All right, we got one hand in here, put another finger, and the details start to fill themselves out. Uh, I did actually try doing that on my most recent personal, well, not personal, sorry, client work. And I, it wasn't really working out. And I think the reason for that is I'm finding it usually just seems to work on pinups or close-ups of characters. Uh, but for generic comic pages, uh, at least right now, I wasn't really digging where it was looking. Hey, Jessup. Oh, we got cat troubles. What's up, big boy? What you doing? You want some big pets, bud? Hey, Jessup. What you doing, pal? Oh, the big stink wants some big pets, huh? Oh, you want some big pets? Where's your mousers? You want to get your mousers? Where's Zelda? Where's she hiding? You want to draw? You want to draw with me? You want to draw some pictures? Huh? You want to draw some big pictures, big boy? <sighs> Alright, let's see if he's calmed down for now. Big stink, huh? Yeah, he wants, the cat wants more pets. Uh, 
Um, Ian is saying, oh, somebody else asking, who's older, Jessup or Zelda? Jessup and Zelda are my cats. Uh, Zelda's older by pff, maybe four or five months tops. Jessup, I got him when he was a kitten. I adopted Zelda from the Humane Society. I guess she was left in a parking lot. I don't know, know what, how that story plays out, but uh, Jessup was a farm cat. <laughs> guess his mom had a whole litter. And then the owners, they couldn't... I, I think they didn't know that she got out. She got frisky. <laughs> um, hey, Jonathan, how goes it? Uh, you know what would really help on your colors? If you watch that video I sent you, I'm going to bring it up. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks, Ian. Yeah, I did definitely get that. Uh, those videos. I actually subscribed to that channel. Uh, when I get a chance, I will look over it. Uh, one thing I will say, like, yes, please ham keep hammering it until I tell you that I actually... Uh, <laughs> That I actually did this, but uh, one thing with this style, again, I'm not even sure if the comic book is going to be inked or not, uh, or sorry, not inked, uh, colored. Uh, let me just change my eraser. I don't know if it's going to be colored yet or not. Uh, so in saying that, uh, most of the color stuff that I normally do is not going to get used. Uh, but I do plan on doing covers, right? Everybody needs covers. All that fun stuff. And the coloring I've been doing for these guys anyway, uh, especially with Spectacular Red, it was mostly just simple. I don't even think there's, I oh know there's a highlight on there I'm just looking at now. What I plan on doing is going back and just changing a couple things, maybe adding a little extra, like a bounce light that I did take out in that video. Uh, because like I've already just stated a little earlier today, that I plan on using this stuff as assets that I can reuse for ads and uh, videos and stuff like that. So it's pretty important that they look pretty good or look uh, better, I should say. Um, Bando saying, when I'm drawing, I don't let the cats in the office in my bat pet. <laughs> Are you a bad pet owner? Uh, no, it's, it's your life. Uh, my I have a pretty small house, so there's not much place for the cats to go. Usually they're all right. They're not meowing around. Jessup right now just wanted some some attention and some loves. Now he's just sitting beside me watching me draw. He's a big cuddle bug. It's a pretty easy going cat. He's a scaredy cat too. It's funny. All right, let's make another layer here because we're gonna get a little dirty. Uh, with the with the faces, I try to I don't know. You gotta be a little bit more perfect usually. Uh, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here is instead of doing just a line like this and hoping for the best, I'm going to uh, be using this line here for his helmet to overlap the actual helmet, right? So all in this area is gonna get knocked out. So I'm gonna use that area to save myself, hopefully. some time redrawing this circle because it's got to be perfect right and we'll see how this side looks That's not bad. Okay. That's not bad. All right. No, no. The helmets are supposed to actually, oops, come in a bit. Right, but this guy's got his big, his big cheeks. All right. So let's get his helmet knocked in here. Actually, they're not really in the pencils there, but I wanted to have his, his cheeks kind of pop over the, the mask like that. Let's make him look extra cute, hopefully. 
I nailed that line. Sweet. <laughs> Sometimes you get lucky with ink lines. I don't know if you guys have even digitally inked. Uh, I, I usually hear this a lot from uh, real life inkers. Uh, you'll do like some lines because there's no undo button, but some lines you just get and you're just like, ooh, nail that. And that's what that one felt like. All right. Let's get a little bit of, oh, that was horrible inks. Ugh, look at that. Ugh, yuck. Uh, that's better. Alright, so that mouth, I'm not too sure. I don't mind it, but let's turn off the pencil, see how it looks. Ah, uh, it's not bad. Alright, how many layers we got going here? Alright, I'm going to use that layer, see if we can get this. This is going to be a bitch. Look at that, ugh. Ian's asking uh, if I've ever considered coloring my line art so it's not black. Uh, no, not really. Uh, I've always had the intentions of doing this like a manga, uh, so black and white with some gray tones. Uh, if I, the gray might just be Copic style gray tones or actual half tones like in manga. I'm not sure yet. The artwork needs to be done, um, and the reason for that is I. I would like to get this printed, and in case I can't get the funding or anything like that to do this in color, uh, black and white's always going to be cheaper, at least right now. Oh man, this is killing me, guys. Uh, so in saying that, oh, did we get it? Holy frick, I think we got it. flip it make sure it looks good wow all right sweet we got it um so in saying that it's cheaper to get it i don't mind it i want this to be printed kind of like at manga size not even 11 by 17 as well as being put online most likely for free i'm not sure how much of it or how that's going to go i just need to worry about the stories and getting it out there uh or sorry getting the stories and the drawing done how i'll deliver it to everybody um that'll we'll worry about that as it comes but i don't have anything to deliver to people yet so there's no point worrying about it uh, where was I? Where was I going with that? So, if it's too, if I can color it, I mean that would be great. Um, I'm I'm thinking I would have to go through Kickstarter or something like that. Uh, but knowing it's black and white, there's no real reason to go get colored line art. Um, not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with that. I think it's a really cool effect, especially with a lot of cartoons and stuff. Um, it can look real sweet. Um, I think one of the main, not main problems, but main thing I need to do my best at is at least have these characters, like you guys can let me know in the chat, I mean you might like it, you might just be, you know, stroking my ego a bit here, but please be honest with me, uh, do these characters at least look interesting, do they look like something you might want to read about, um, and I know that might be a little bit of a loaded question simply because you don't really know anything about these characters just yet. Um, but that's sort of why I'm asking as well, just to see if there is an interest. Um, and to be fair, the genre this is, 
it's probably mostly, you know, I, it's not like I'm drawing superheroes with spandex and stuff. Uh, it's not an X-Men book. It's nothing like that. It's it's more akin to reading a Power Rangers, Ninja Turtle, maybe even, well, it's definitely going to be all ages. So it's kind of, I don't want to say childish, but it's meant to be all the things that I loved about those shows when I grew up. Um, so I know a lot of people grow up and they don't really care <laughs> anymore and that's it doesn't worry me because I'm having fun doing this right uh, my cons my main concern though is mostly that I I'm not sure if I'd be able to reach as many people just because uh, I don't want to say people's shields are up but people will get new tastes right but uh, I can't worry about that right now I gotta just like I said a little earlier content right now that's all I need to worry about is just making some cool stuff to uh, maybe get people that might not be interested in that sort of stuff to get them interested in it, right? Get you guys, get you guys and girls into it. Okay, let's... Hey Zelda, now it's your turn to come in here. I'm not sure I feel about that line. No, that doesn't look good. Hey kitty, where's your, did you get your mouse here? Oh, it's just a cat fest in here today, guys. Uh, okay, so it's... Uh, <laughs> some of you guys are asking for some story stuff. So, yeah, I can give you... Uh, I, I can give you where I'm at with bits and pieces. I don't want to give too much away. Only because not, not in like a... This is all very secretive stuff. Uh, I'm working out the somewhat of the history of where this is coming. So I don't want to give too much information out that... Um, you know, that that could be wrong. Uh, Ian saying, Jonathan, you could print it on newsprint. Judge Dredd and Savage Dragon volumes come out like that, and it's really inexpensive. 15 US for 300. See, like, that's real. That's real slick. That's real slick. Um, So somebody, uh, Rempo, was asking, why were they chosen as the heroes? That, and that's what uh, Rempo wanted to know. Uh, so the quick rundown of the origin of this so far. Um, and please remember where this is coming from, Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers. So there's a lot of callbacks that I'd like to do in there. Um, because they did a lot of heavy lifting already. And I'm not trying to rip them off. Let's put a little homage to them. Homage. Homogenized. Um, now the one twist, I don't think I want to just give out yet, just yet. Because I'm not sure when I'll reveal that. So we'll worry about that later. Uh, however, uh, the beginning is one of those stories where it's, uh, you know, more epic than it needs to be. But I'm trying to just condense it as much as I can. So anyway, enough rambling. Um, so there's light and dark. Come up with names with them. I'll come up with names for them. And they're always fighting each other. That's just the way it goes. And uh, eventually, dark finds a way to temporarily defeat light. And he sends light hurling through space. And eventually light crashes on Earth. And when he crashes on Earth, he comes... Uh, a, I'm pretty sure I'm going to call him either a scientist or a doctor. Probably professor or something like that. Um, and this is playing on Mega Man where there's a Dr. Light. Uh, this guy, I'm just going to rip it off. It's Professor Bright with a B. <laughs> playing on the light motif. Um, s sees this and he goes to see what's going on and this creature from space tells him about the big epic battle of, of all this stuff and uh, he has he can do one last thing uh, before he perishes he can destroy himself to give this professor five crystals of light um, and to prepare himself because dark will want to make sure that light is dead and dark will start sending out his his minions all over the cosmos uh, scouts if you call them to uh, uh, solar systems and universes and just to make sure that all light is eliminated um, and that's basically how it starts so the the light character this godlike figure shatters um, and this Professor Bright is left with these five crystals, and each one's a color. And um, how he gives them to these people, I don't want to stay just yet because it, it is it does play in a lot of things. Uh, however, they get it, and uh, I don't want to say they're going to morph. I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to do it like that, but uh, it's it's something along that line.
Uh, and Bando is saying something here that's interesting. Uh, when he was a younger kid, he didn't like Power Rangers, but he liked Ninja Turtles. So, be, so if he had to be honest, the odds of him picking up uh, my book here would be 50-50. Uh, however, he digs the art, so he would at least browse it, which is uh, which is good to know. As long as I can get people to even look at it, they might enjoy the story, have some fun with it. All right. So the the one of the problems I'm having here is this shape. I, I'm wondering if it's if it looks like it's flattening him out. Uh, we'll keep it going. We'll see where she goes. See where she goes, boys. Uh, what do we got to get rid of? That mask for his cheek. All right. So let's get those cute eyes in there. I, oh my gosh. Jonathan Ian saying, if you get rid of the eyes and do the semicircle like you visor, it will help deflatten that. Might give an interesting look to the one specific here. Uh, no, I agree and I appreciate that. I've already done some design work in the background um, for doing that, and I knew it would start going really Power Rangers. They started looking too much uh, like bicycle helmets. Um, so what I'm hoping is. There, there is an issue here with this flattening out. Um, just by you saying that, somebody else at least is seeing that. What I'm hoping is that once I get into like this kind of stuff, start doing the, the rendering, or not the rendering, but the shine anywhere in the helmet, hopefully that might round it out. We'll see how we get there. If not, um, it's not, it's not a lot of work to uh, do that. But I appreciate that because it is letting me know that somebody else is seeing uh, some of the issues that I'm, that I'm seeing as well. All right, let's get back to contour this guy. You're, <laughs> you guys are all speaking stuff that I've already tried, and and, and I agree. Um, with Spectacular Red, even, when I started doing the colors, I was like, all right, well, what if we add something like this? You know, it looks kind of cool, too, um, but it, I don't know. Something about just the plain white eyes I like. Um, I could do a little bit extra expression in there that you guys haven't really seen. All these guys are just being fun and smiling. But, uh, yeah, definitely please keep these uh, critiques coming. Let's me know what you guys are thinking. Supposed to be doing contour work here, and I'm going in and adding extra stuff here. So let me just get out. Uh, da, 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 da. All 
So we started a little bit late, so we got a little bit of time left. Um, for those of you in the chat, if you guys had any comments or questions or anything you'd like or that I might be able to help you with, uh, by all means, just ask it in the chat. Uh, please ask it in all capitals. That, uh, that way I can see it quicker. And I guess I'll just start doing all the end of the show stuff right now with links and all that stuff. Um, like I said at the beginning, I will be trying my hardest over the weekend, if not by the end of the week, putting two new articles up on the website. I'll address them on the next live stream, in case you guys miss them or anything. Uh, one is about uh, the standing desk uh, that I'm trying to uh, get set up over here, uh, real cheap and ghetto-like. If you guys are on Facebook, you can check that out, uh, the image I posted this morning, actually. And uh, the health benefits of standing while working and all that good stuff. Uh, once you get over the <laughs> the pain <laughs> of standing, uh, your body obviously gets used to it. Um, your energy will go up for sure. And, and, somebody that I like big time, Ricky Gervais. I always say his last name wrong. I think it's Gervais. Yerves, he uh, he had an interesting <laughs> quote on staying healthy, and it was uh, basically think of living healthy as preventing death as long as you possibly can. <laughs> so standing more often than sitting your whole day, uh, you won't die as fast. <laughs> It's always an interesting way to look at it. But uh, yeah, so I'll have an article up about that, just going over that. Um, as well as I'll have this guy here all finished up. Uh, Spectacular Blue for my project Spectacular Z. Um, and I'm going to go over a little bit more of what the project is and what it's about. Uh, Rempa already asked in the chat, sort of like... Uh, not an introduction, but sort of like a little bit of the what are the origins and all that fun stuff. Um, and I briefly went over that, but I'll go a little bit more in depth um, in that article. Uh, yes, this was a traditional sketch I was thinking. Uh, if I just zoom out, I did do a little bit of uh, leg work and stuff before the stream, or uh, I should say, I don't even know what I'm saying. At the beginning of the show, that's what I'm trying to say. Jeez. Uh, I'm trying to find which one's blue here. But anyway, yeah, just uh, if you can trust me that this was a sketch, <laughs> then we'll be we'll be all right. Jonathan Ian's asking, uh, what is the Z? Uh, oh, for Spectacular Z. Uh, I'll explain that too. Uh, Z stands for the, the, the being of light that starts this whole thing. So I like Z at the end of it because it sounds uh, fun. Z is always cool, you know, you got Mega Man Z or something Z, X, all these things at the end. Dragon Ball Z, you know, it stands for something, but it just sounds cool. So I'm just ripping that off. As well as it still plays into the Power Rangers stuff. Uh, for those of you that don't know Power Rangers, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers anyway. The main guy that kind of instigates the whole thing, his name was Zordon. Um, so my guy will be based lightly on that as well. Okay, so I've got all the, the outline done, so now we can kind of go in there, and or the silhouette done, I should say, and I can go in there and actually start um, detailing this up. Uh, still be uh, weary of where your line weights are and stuff. This method doesn't get rid of that, and it shouldn't.
Zelda, you're funny. Every now and then I'll be drawing and I'll just hear this thunk sound behind me and it's uh, Zelda. And she'll bring her mouse. <laughs> and the sound is uh, her dropping it and she'll just stare at me waiting for me to throw her toy. Alright, let's get some rendering in here. So we got like a really weird twist going on in the hand here. I really want to sell that twist. Let's see if... um, I'm thinking this right here kind of kills the shape a bit. Alright, so let's just merge all these together here. La 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 la. Na, na, na. I won't be able to market it in the UK. Uh, why? Oh, because it's Z instead of Z. Spectacular Z. Uh, I don't know. Is that like, how about, yeah, Spectacular Zelda. Um, do you guys have Dragon Ball Z over there? Or do you guys just call it Dragon Ball Z? What do you guys call it? Because I would imagine in today's day and age, uh, you guys say Z. I'm pretty sure in Canada it's Z as well. Could be wrong. is only Dragon Ball no, uh, no that's not true there's Dragon Ball and then there's another series after Dragon Ball Z Z Z Zygon Zygon Z something alright so we got uh, his glove here and alright let's start pushing this for shortening now these characters aren't supposed to be uh, totally ripped um, I was actually thinking on my walk home from work tonight, uh, Will Robson, hey Will, uh, who's, um, who's a friend of mine, uh, we were kind of talking, I believe it was today, could be wrong, um, that I'm not sure exactly what I, like specifically these characters do. Like I'm not sure if I even want to give them weapons or anything like that just yet. Uh, but what I was thinking was maybe it's just different fighting styles. You know, like this guy's kind of trying. Like what I was trying to do with the hands, you'll kind of see. You, you can't really see them back there, but his bandanas that he has, kind of going in a circle, circular motion. Uh, the uh, Triangle guy, spectacular red. He's kind of got the the triangle uh, motion with his hands. Uh, what I was thinking is, uh, there's a square character. It's got a square shape, and I was thinking either a boxer or a wrestler would be real sweet. And then as soon as I saw thought of wrestling, all of it started to come together. Where I think that's just what I'm gonna do. They, I don't know if they'll be animals. I don't, you know, I don't. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but maybe their powers are like something about them like activate. So obviously the wrestler's incredibly strong. So he or she, I'm, I'm more than sure I'm making the wrestler the green, spectacular green, and it'll be a female, because I think a big, like a big, you know, wrestling woman would be kind of cool, and so I just got to find the fighting styles for these other guys, maybe crane style or something like that, no, that's true, we're not friends, uh, uh Lars, you could be right, uh, I apologize, um, I, the only reason I, I think it's Z uh, is because I have the box set of all the manga. And it says Z on there, but you could be right. It could just be a marketing thing. Uh, but I think, uh, Lars, you're you're also right there. Um, where Z stands for Z Warriors. And I'm not sure. Like, I don't know Japanese culture all that well, so I'm not sure if it's... Uh, So I'm not sure, but because I know, like even here in Canada, if I wanted to buy the manga, I can buy the Dragon Ball manga where Goku, the main character, is like a kid, and then there's the Dragon Ball Z where Goku grows up. I don't know. Don't 
Doesn't matter. That's <laughs> we all know what we're talking about. And if you haven't read Dragon Ball, especially Dragon Ball Z, forget the show. The show's cool, but the manga is just it's too hot for school, man. Especially if you like the show. The manga just really keeps it pure. I mean, the show added a whole bunch of stuff. The show is cool because you can see the movement and all that, but uh, I'm, a, I'm more of a the manga fan. The manga. Alright, let's see how this guy's looking here. Let's, flip around. let's get the spectacular blue dance. It had more grunting than porn. Yeah. What I should address too, somebody uh, on YouTube, um, I might just record the coloring of this just so we can put up another video. <laughs> Spam YouTube. But uh, somebody brought up that Spectacular Red looked a lot like an updated version of Beautiful, Beautiful Joe. Uh, that was an awesome video game too. Um, I'm not against saying thanks to that. That's... To me, that's a you know that's a great honor. If somebody looks at that and goes, "Oh, that that guy looks like he just copied Beautiful Joe," I'm okay with that. It's funny because I think it's called Super Sentai. I could be wrong. That's like what the Power Ranger stuff is over in Japan. Probably wrong. <laughs> but it's like they nailed down, and there could have been something before that, and I there probably was. But the whole, like, characters with bicycle helmets and stuff, like, they just nailed that down. And nowadays, it's like, even if you don't even, if you try, like, f like me, like, it still looks like bicycle helmets and stuff. And I'm still, it's just that look. It's kind of like when you design a new superhero and, you know, oh, it looks like Batman or it looks like Superman. And, you know, there's not much you can do to get around it. So, it's all good. It's kind of like those uh, thank fuck for properties like all that um, that develop the language so that when you draw somebody that goes, oh, that looks like Spider-Man or, oh, that looks like, you know, so-and-so. Uh, thank God because, you know, there's a, there's a reason for that stuff to exist now. It's not you look at it and it's just so, oh, why is that guy got underwear over his pants? You know, it's, it's understood that, oh, that means superhero. You know, it's a costume. And some people might not get it. They might look at Ninja or Power Rangers and stuff and go like, why do they all have weird shaped bicycle helmets and stuff? Why are they riding dinosaurs and stuff? But for those of us that get into it, you know, um, it's a language. You know, you can kind of speak to it on a different level. Speaking of Power Rangers, um, I need to go back and rewatch Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's a little bit like when I was a kid, I really liked it, and I've watched episodes from time to time since. But it's it's tough. <laughs> I mean, that acting is brutal. Um, but I don't know if there's any Power Ranger fans in the chat, and if there are, how is the new stuff? Is there any is there anything worth watching? There's Mighty Morphin. Like, just just stick with that, and I'll be a I'll be okay. Gotcha, man. Yep. So good. I couldn't watch, I remember Turbo, I couldn't watch that just because, like, I don't care about cars and stuff, like, 
I know a lot of people seem to like vehicles. Um, pretty like non-male <laughs> when it comes to that stuff. And they say that because usually a lot of dudes like cool looking cars and stuff. And don't get me wrong, if there's like something that looks real slick, well, I appreciate that. I just don't like spoil myself when I see cars and stuff. So when you go from Power Rangers being in like dinosaurs, usually when you're younger especially, you like dinosaurs. Um, and then from there they go into like magical beasts. Now we're into fantasy. You got dragons and unicorns and all kinds of shit. And then from there, where did it go to Turbo from there? Or am I missing one? I think there was, I think there was something else. But anyway, so I went into the vehicle stuff, and that's where I was pretty sure that's when I stopped. Because there's a movie that came out too, I think. I believe. <laughs> oh man alright well maybe I'll figure a way to just I'm pretty sure like all the seasons or all these episodes are all on Netflix uh, in Canada anyway so what I might do is treat myself <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about watch some Power Rangers in the background one day try to get into this newer stuff um, I don't know what the hell's going on with this I don't know this sort of this just took off. There's some funky perspective going on here. Okay, well, I guess that's it. I'm going to about wrap it up here, guys and girls. So thank you to everybody that uh, showed up today. I really appreciate it. And uh, like I always say, this show is for you guys and girls. i got to fix this because that's, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I, this show is for you guys and girls. Uh, it's every Wednesday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if you came into the stream a little bit late, that's okay. Just take a look at the time right now and subtract an hour from that. And that's when we start every Wednesday. And all that cool stuff. Uh, what I plan on doing is think if I can set up a newsletter or something through my site so you guys can check that out um, where I can email you guys updates and just keep you guys informed of the live streams. Uh, but if you guys are on Twitter or and or Facebook, follow me. Just go to my website, jonathanrector.com. And on the right-hand side, I'll have all my links to my sites. Um, follow me on Twitter or Facebook. That way you guys can get uh, updates on Wednesday that the show is going to be streamed or in case there's the odd time that uh, we have to postpone it or switch it around okay so unfortunately I know some people they don't really dig live stream uh, it's working right now we're gonna use it <laughs> see what happens but thank you guys once again for stopping by really appreciate it keep reading comics keep making comics and I uh, will see you next Wednesday bye